Welcome to Online Algebra 2. This is section 2-2, Direct Variation. So our objective for this section is to write and interpret direct variation equations. And what you should know is that some quantities are in a relationship where the ratio of the corresponding values is equal. So, direct variation. What are we really talking about here? So we can write a formula for direct variation as y is equal to k times x. And basically, what we should realize about direct variation is that if I make the input, if I make x go up, this thing is going to stay the same. That means y has to go up. Okay. So as long as uh, one side of the equation is getting bigger, the other side of the equation has to get bigger, as long as this thing is the same. And it is constant. Okay. If x goes up a lot, y is going to go up a lot. If x goes up a little, y is going to go up a little. Okay. So we can take this equation then, the direct variation equation, and we can divide both sides by x and get a formula for k, where as long as k doesn't equal 0, x represents input values, y represents output values in the formula, y over x is equal to k, says that the ratio of all the input of all the output input pairs is equal to a constant. In this case, we're going to call that constant k and has the name of the constant of variation. Except for 0, 0, right? Because if you take y divided by x for 0, 0, that's undefined. So we're going to ignore that one. But any other input output pair, if we take the output divided by the input, we're going to get the constant as long as we have direct variation. Okay, so let's take a look at some data and determine whether this is direct variation. Well, x is going up, y is going up. That's a good first sign. So the next thing we have to do is when we look at our formula, right, and we divide outside, we divide both sides by x, we have y over x is equal to k. So we take the y coordinate divided by the x coordinate, and I get k. In the first point, it is 2. And it should be constant, which it is. So that means that in all three of these, k is equal to 2, right? And it is the constant of variation. That means this first example is direct variation. And the formula is y is equal to k which is 2 times x. So that means that any input I'd have, uh, I just take it multiplied by 2 to get the output. If I look at this problem, okay, to start with, I'm going to say that, right, so that y over x should be equal to k. That one's 4. That one's 4 but that one is not 4, okay? So this is not direct variation, okay? So y does not vary directly with x. It's okay, it's fine, it's still data, it's still a relation, it's still a function, right? Every x has one answer, y, all right? It's just not this specific type of relationship direct variation. Uh, let's try our two GATA problems. All right, so when I look at the GATA problems, right, I have 21. So this is negative 7 there. That's negative 7, and that's negative 7. So yes, this is direct variation. Y over X for each of the three points is the same. So that means Y is going to be equal to negative 7X. And clearly in this one, it doesn't matter that it's a fraction. But now they're all different fractions, and so that is not direct variation. Okay. No. Okay, so that was with data. With variables, as long as I can get y by itself, then I have direct variation. And it should be equal. Remember my formula, y is equal to k times x. So as long as I can get y by itself, 
and I have X by itself on the right hand side, whatever number is right there is my constant of variation. So for part A, all I have to do is divide by 3. So now Y is equal to 7 over 3 times X. So that makes, this is direct variation, and that makes my constant of variation 7 over 3. For part B, the problem is, is that when I divide everything by 7, I do get a number times X, but then I also get plus 1. This is not direct variation. So in this case, this is a linear equation. This is what we're going to look at for the rest of the chapter, but it just happens to not be a direct variation equation. Uh, part A. I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides. So 3y is equal to negative 5x. Divide out the 3. And yes, it is direct variation. Part B is already there. Right? Division is the same thing as multiplying by a fraction. So I can split these into 1 over 9 times x. It's the same thing as x over 9. So this is already set up with direct variation. Here, my constant of variation is negative 5 over, third, 5 over 3. Here, it is 1 over 9. So indirect variation, y over x is the same for all pairs of data, except for when x is equal to 0. Okay? So as long as x doesn't equal 0, y over x will always be the same, which is the definition of direct variation, right? It's a constant. It's always going to be the same. So that means that for different points, x1, x2, y, uh, x2, y2, right? This ratio of y1 over x1 is always going to be equal to y2 over x2. As long as it's direct variation, no matter what, if you take a y divided by the x in the same point, you're always going to get the same ratio. Which means... If I see this, suppose y varies directly with x. So you, I'm telling you it's direct variation. Okay. If you know the constant, you can now find any other ratio that you want. So here's the first point. So y over x is going to be equal to k. So y, 9, over negative 15 is going to be equal to k. We can simplify that a little bit to negative 3 over 5. Okay. And now, what is y when x is 21? So I know my constant is negative 3 over 5, and I just plug in 21. And I get that y is going to be equal to, uh, not a nice number here, so uh, we'll just turn it to a decimal negative 12.6 or if we left it as a fraction 63 over 5 okay let's try it again again that's what you look for you look for okay it's telling me something about the relationship between y and x and it's saying it varies directly uh, there's other type of variation which we'll get to way later uh, like indirectly or jointly uh, but we'll talk about those uh, in a much later section okay uh, so, suppose y, y varies directly with x, so y is 15, x is 3, which gives me k, so 5 is equal to k, and so what is y when x is 12? It just turns into 5 times 12, which is 60. Okay? So, word problem. And we can use direct variation to solve it. So a salesperson commission, a salesperson's commission varies directly with sales. Makes sense. The more you sell, the more commission you make. For thousand dollars in sales, the commission is eighty-five dollars. So you you should realize what the independent variable is what the dependent variable is and so we can say that um, do some constant times x 
So 85 bucks is my output, right? It's the dependent variable, right? My input is the sales, okay? Divide both sides by a thousand, and I get 0 .0, 0 0.0085 is equal to K, okay? So you make 85 bucks on a thousand, right? You're gonna make more on 2,300. Let's find out. So y is going to be equal to my constant 0 0.085 times 2300. And we get $195.5, so 50 cents. Okay. Let's try the got it problems. The number of calories, again, they're telling you, whoops, right, are, are, are calories vary directly with the mass of the cheese. Okay, so if 50 grams of cheese, so that means Y is going to be K times X, so 50 grams contain 200 calories some constant times 50 and we get four okay. how many calories are there in 70 grams so now y is going to be four times 70 to give me 280 calories if y squared varies directly with x squared does that mean y must vary directly with x? Let's think about that for a second. y squared varies directly with x squared. Yes and no, because if we take the square root of both sides here, uh, we could introduce extraneous solutions by doing this. Um, but it's still, as one side goes up, the other side goes up. Uh, it just the constant would, it, it won't, it won't exactly be a, X divided by Y won't always be the same. So that's not gonna work. All right, so graphs. The graph of direct variation function is always a line through the origin, okay? And in this chapter, we're gonna be graphing a lot of lines. We're gonna start with the simplest form here of a direct variation equation. Right. And in the next couple sections, we are going to do a lot to talk about all the different techniques that we can use in order to look at this equation and how to put it on the graph, right? But we're going to start with the most basic one here, and that is to make a table. Right. I'm going to plug in zero, and I'm going to get zero. Now, I'm going to plug in numbers that maybe work a little bit better with this fraction, so that way it's not so hard for me to graph, like my input of four. Four times three divided by four is gonna be three. I'm gonna plug in eight and get six. I'm gonna plug in 12 and get nine. So now when I make this graph, four, three, eight, six and uh, 12 is not on the graph 12 9 but okay that's enough right there to draw this line okay as x goes up y goes up always by the same amount uh, and that's a direct variation graph goes through the origin and has and is a straight line now, again, there are other ways to graph this, like techniques like slope intercept or point slope or things like that. Uh, and we'll get to those in the next section. Let's finish one more table like this. And again, we know that zero, zero is a point. Uh, not much that I can, I have to really think about here. I can plug in any numbers I want. I could plug in one, I would get negative two. I could plug in negative one and I would get positive two. One gives me negative two, 
negative one, and you should get some sort of order with your table, right? I'm jumping along a little bit, but um, yeah. And there's my graph. Okay, direct variation as x goes up, y is going. Yeah, as x goes up, y goes up. Um, but this negative two sort of reverses that. Okay, so as x goes up, y is going to be going uh, down in this case. But they're they're always the ratio is always the same. The slope is always the same of this line. Okay. All right. So uh, most of this stuff here is is uh, pretty standard. Uh, this is direct variation. The uh, the constant of variation is negative one half. That's direct variation. This is direct variation because there's no other uh, number associated right this. We take in put five X on that side, divide out the four. So Y is equal to five over four X. And that was two dot two, direct variation.